Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, hey Ninja here. Welcome back to another gaming video. And today I'm going to show you a very in, a fun glitch on here. And honestly, I'm surprised it's not been glitched. I mean, it patched yet. Eh? Since it's been found a long time ago. When I say a long time ago, I mean like a week after the and this uh, glitch was available. Well, yeah, for the, as you might have known for the title, we are going to glitch inside we're gonna glitch past uh, the Wrath of Machine raid, and since I never actually done it on, yeah, and never done it on this character like fully, I do not have hard mode unlocked yet, sadly. Well, first of all, what you need is a hunter or a titan with max agility. So sorry, it is all your warlocks. You are not be able to do this. You will for hunters. You will need a. Uh, yeah, bones of AO in Titans you will need uh, the height increase uh, and for your jumps and you will need some kind of a sword I would advise using an exotic one since it will have more uh, usage so without further ado let's go on uh, and start this up and I see we will land alright so we literally just touched down so if you didn't know this is what it spawn and how the start of the raid starts out. And if you also did not know how to start them, it's like to collect those charges. But we do not want to start it at all. So first thing I need to do is get some heavy ammo. Oh man, this is my last one, but, but I hope it don't run out. Basically what you go you want to do is, is go all the way up to into the top. And eventually we will get up on top. Uh, like all the way up there and you see what I mean is in here after a bit Oh, by the way, I forgot to say hey, with the With the hunters you will want to have quad jump also, which is one of the reasons why you Yeah, you need the uh, bones of ale. Okay, so first You want to land right there on that ledge And then you want to end up going inside that light. You, you'll see what I'm talking about now there's a tiny spot you can stand on right here, it's pretty much just right here. And what you're going to do is jump back and then sword swing in. Now right here is a little bit tricky. You want to get up on that tiny ledge right there. But as you can, t you can tell right here, it is, it's going to be a little bit difficult because there's a roof right here and I, and I can't even stand up. So, you have to... At the last second, jump, but then you just keep on double jumping up. Now, do not uh, sword swing up here because it's a higher chance to uh, for you to fail. Then for here, just jump up on this ledge. Oop, almost failed. Okay. So, you know, right here, there's a tiny little ledge that you can stand on on the, uh, on the top of it. So just go out, sword swing into it, like, like so. Then just jump over to the same ledge on the other side. Now right here is okay, we're getting into the harder part. You have to go out a little bit and then jump into this ledge. Now right here you do not want to go too far because you will not be able to jump. And it should be yeah that turn back right there. So like right here at this find, start jumping above. Oop. No. I can't wait. Okay. If you die if you die like that, don't worry, you should be able to respawn all the way back up top like this. Okay, so it's going back. You want to jump forward a little bit. Swing and then this sword climb all the way up until you'll be able to into run again. So just bear with me. We're almost there. And it's easier if you go towards this side right here, like what I'm doing. Then after a while, you'll be able to go up. If you did, if you want to see what it, what the area looks like from way up here, well, it's that very tiny. So just jump out over here. Oh, and before we actually do go and do it. Right here is where you end up coming back up. And right there, as you can see, is a tiny, tiny little ledge. 
you want to end up getting there. But as I'm running forward, I can't because there's an invisible barrier. Oh, and it's back. It is. So what you want to do is to jump all the way down. Once you get to that hole, just... Oh. Because I used that last jump, it's actually going to be a little bit more difficult. I do not want to do that. Titans, you have a little advantage with that. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, do not worry. We do not have to start all the way over again. Now, if you're first time doing this, you, it, that will be happening. Yeah, and most likely. You see, I can spawn way back up here again. It says jump. You should, it should here, lean you forward a little bit. No, I used to jump. There we go. You can sit right here. I'm going to now you just jump. Oh, but this is a ledge, so just jump back and then up. Now remember exactly how you did that. Because this is how we get end up going back in. So you just end up jumping out. Jump inside a little bit. Yeah. Oops, I messed. There we go. So you sit here and just turn back. And once you die, you will spawn inside and be able to collect all the chests. Now since I did do this this week, I will not be able to I will not get any loot from them, but to prove you know, that they were, but, but to like, prove uh, that this is, this is legit, I'm gonna go all the way down here into the chest. Boom. You see right there? I opened it, but since I've already done it, I will not be able to do it. Yeah, I will not be able to uh, collect any loot. Okay? Yeah, so then you'll be able to just go back in, collect the exotic chest inside. And then it, yeah. As you can see, we're coming down here, and it is still closed. And as I put this up, it says enter the, it says uh, enter the cosmic room wall. Okay, so remember exactly how you do that. And I'll meet you back. And like right now, we are stuck in this area, so he has to leave orbit, come back, and then do exactly what I did, but do not uh, go and go towards that checkpoint just yet. Okay, I'm going to do that and skip skip forward so you don't have to sit here with me and catch when I get there. Okay, now I'm back outside and, and if you're alright and if you get to this part of the video, you should be back here also. So once again, we, we just came up from, uh, from up there. Okay, so continue on. Now what you want to do is do the same thing as earlier, but go. Make sure you do not fall underneath this because... Like underneath that, because it is a pain in the butt to get back out. Actually, I don't even know if it's possible to get back out. So just what we have to do is just follow the path, pretty much, until you get all the way towards the end. Now I'm actually not going to s speed this part up, so you don't have to be too worried about where to go. Even though it's pretty much just a straight line. And just so you know, this is a solid ground, so don't worry about falling. You know, too much. If you fall like right there, you will die. I haven't actually tested it. If, if you want to test it, uh, feel free to and, and leave down in the comments uh, if you actually do die by doing that. Something interesting for us to know. So yeah. It's basically right there is where you uh, face access again the second time. As you can see, we're passing that, going into the next area. And don't worry, you'll be able to get all the chests in here. Oh, where's our sprint? There we go. And if you look up to the top right, you can also see where the monitor, the room where the monitor is. You know, why this waste is sorry over there. So yeah, just keep on going. And we get all the way over here. Oh, come on. Almost there, don't worry. I know 
noise about jumping in since it not being in HD is not that great of a sound. So what you want to do is just come way, way over here to the very end. We see right now we're almost to the top into where you fight the there we go. So right there and hit the loading screen, you want to fall down, you will die. Do not worry, it's perfect it's perfectly fine. You will spawn right here. And if you want to go back to the, in the chest, uh, you just go on back and collect them. I'm not going to uh, enter the sake of time. So we see if you if you will also be able to go all the way towards the end uh, to collect that final chest. And trust me, this is a lot. This is uh, it feels a whole lot longer than what than it will with you actually fighting the boss, which. I'm just kind of surprised it hasn't spawned in. One of the things I think is cool about this is that all the walls that, in that would normally be up are not there anymore. So just be able to walk on right through happily. And and also right here with these railings, you can still die from them. Okay, so I got there, I just took a bunch of damage. Get better. Just keep on moving. Almost there. What? Since since when did was that there? I went through I went through here, here the other day and now it's not there. Whatever. Oh by the way with the monitors, if you did not know, it's right here. Just shoot the black thing. Alright then uh, yeah, once you uh, once you jump all the way down yeah. Yeah, once you get to the end you just jump down like normal. And as you can see it still shows them on the first stage. Yeah, but I'm actually not. Well, well, I thought where I am, I am not. So just going for the final chest. If you do not know, is is all these rocks. And then right here is the final chest. Once again, I already collected this, so I won't get any loot from it. So yeah, that's how you get all five chests without uh, doing the actual raid or soloing, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Hmm. So let's see you on. Hope you liked the video. If you press that like and subscribe button, let's see you on the next one.